Meanwhile, we're looking at a big crackdown on big technology. Shares of Facebook, Amazon, Apple, and Google, parent company Alphabet, all under pressure this morning after the Department of Justice announced a broad antitrust review aimed at investigating whether these companies stifle competition. This comes as several of these big tech companies will be reporting earnings this week and next. Joining us right now uh, to talk more about that is Payne Capital Management President Ryan Payne and Applico CEO Alex Moazid. And it's great to see both gentlemen. Thanks very much for joining us. Thanks, Maria. So I guess let me start with you, uh, Ryan, because these stocks are under pressure this morning. As an investor, what do you want to do when you come in? And the top story in the journal this morning is this uh, major uh, antitrust inquiry into tech. I mean, down one, one and a half percent isn't exactly major pressure, Maria. So I think it also tells you the market's not overly concerned about it. Um, but I'm just hard pressed to think any of these stocks are, or companies are a monopoly. Um, I mean, for instance, Amazon is literally half the revenue of Walmart. So it's hard to justify that they have a monopoly on e-commerce sales or, you know, any sort of retail sales in general. You, you wonder, you wonder, Alex, if, you know, this antitrust investigation trips over other things. I mean, as we speak, Congressman Devin Nunes is suing Twitter uh, for censoring his conversation, for taking his posts down and leaving others up, which are similar in nature. Um, you've got the president saying that he doesn't get fair, uh, treated fairly. So I know that the, the antitrust app, uh, the antitrust investigation, when you look at you know, dominance. Amazon may not be dominant. What about tripping into other things? Uh, well, I think that's exactly what this antitrust review is looking at is how do these tech platform monopolies, they absolutely are monopolies, um, how do they compete or thwart the producers, the suppliers, the content creators on a Twitter, on a YouTube, on a Facebook, the websites on a Google search, the sellers on an Amazon? And that absolutely is where they get in trouble. That's what, basically what Microsoft got in trouble with in the 90s. So, so much of Apple's um, revenue and their whole business is built around the iPhone, yet there's so many smartphones out there from, from Google to Samsung. So would you call Apple a monopoly or is it because of the Apple Store? How do you look at that? Basically, all these platform industries have a winner-take-all dynamic, which means there's one or two given winners. So there's iOS and Android, and they absolutely control 95% of all of the actual operating systems and mobile. And then you look at, there's an article uh, in the Wall Street Journal this morning about Apple get favoring its own apps versus other third-party app developers in the App Store, which is the same thing as Google favoring its own content over Yelp and TripAdvisor and many other sites. And this is where they get in trouble is when they vertically integrate or do they compete unfairly with the producers that are supposed to be contributing value or content or apps into the platform's ecosystem. That's kind of what you would call maybe being greedy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and, and it would be in previous years unthinkable maybe that a Republican administration, that a Republican White House would have its Justice Department reviewing companies in this way but not with this president because again he has a view uh, he has talked about these large tech companies in the same way that Elizabeth Warren has talked about them in terms of their overriding power and that they've got too much power in too few hands so well and there's signals uh, not only in the attorney general's comments but uh, if you read it you know the FTC and DOJ they haven't just had one meeting about this apparently there's been a series of meetings and negotiations. You know, it's not just the, well, let's have a meeting about uh, antitrust so we can check that box and say we, th this is something they're working on and they, and, they, and they put a lot of energy into. So I think something will come out of it. I, I don't know, I'm not an antitrust guy and I'm certainly not a big tech guy. So I don't know what the potential remedies might be if they found problems. I'd be interested, you know, what do you think is, is worst case for them what might happen because when the president joined us about two weeks ago or so i said to him mr president you would rather see competition right or do you want to because you would think as republicans want competition to come into the marketplace before any regulation and the president was very clear he said you know what we might need legislation that will lead to competition yeah i think so i mean look there's a spectrum and warren isn't even on the spectrum okay so the prospect of breaking these up I don't think is realistic. What is realistic is regulation that says Zuckerberg just called for this in, in June. We don't know where the line is between 
taking abusive or, or hateful speech off of our platform versus violating free speech. Mm. Literally wants to be regulated, and this is the role of government to lay out those lines about what's appropriate versus what is then violating free speech, and no one has done that yet. Mm. Ryan, jump in here. Talk about the investor uh, case for these stocks here. Uh, when you put a portfolio together, how much of it wants to? do you want focused on tech? Well, first off, I mean, all these companies are going to literally double the revenue or they have over the last 12 months. So obviously, they're still growing rapidly. Um, I think it's definitely the momentum trade right now. I mean, even if you own the S&P 500 right now, it's kind of like a tech uh, fund and drag. 30% uh, is tech right now. So I think you know, there's a lot of money pouring into the S&P 500. Managers have to keep up with the index. So I think a lot of money is going to keep pouring into these stocks. I don't think they're the best value in the overall market. But I think as momentum trade, absolutely, and these stocks have uh, room to run here, Maria. All right, we, we, we might uh, just, uh, Yeah, as an investor, you know, all due respect to President Trump, but I would rather these companies police themselves. And I, I don't, when government Will starts. They, to, I well, they, 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 they say it for two years. That. Do something about it. Don't let people yeah. murder their children right. on the Facebook live video streaming yeah. because the government's going to come after you because they've been so reckless with per people's information. This was not about Cambridge Analytica. This was about a business scheme mm. designed by the management for years to basically grow the user base. It's like, oh, these app developers will give you access not just to friends of the people's information, but the, the, the information of their friends. And we'll kind of not really tell people that that's going on. And it went on for years. It's how they got as big as they are. Yeah, no, it's a good point. And I, I mean, they're going to have to start policing themselves at some point. Alex, thank you so much for joining us. Ryan, great to have you as well.